Can I hear you? Oh, no, I hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. We're going. We're live. We're live right now? Yep. Oh, so that was the intro. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Couch Beers Republic, or should we say... Well, I'm drinking coffee. Couch coffees. I already had my coffee today. Wow, look at you. What this time do you get up a, on a Saturday? Uh, Well, today I got up at 5 because I was... Taking wow, my, you're a go-getter. <laughs> taking my parents to the airport, but where are they flying? To? Uh, cannot be disclosed. Top secret. Oh, cool. All right. You don't know, do you? I, <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the worst memory ever. I bet Belinda knows. Uh, I don't remember. Is it like a vacation or is it? I'm uh... I'm like ninety percent sure I know, but I I won't say. Okay. Because I don't want to look like a fool. In front of the world, yeah, or vast audience. Mostly, mostly my parents. <laughs> Do they listen to this? Uh, my dad does for sure. Oh damn! My I mom mean, has, shout out Padre. <laughs> my mom has. I don't think she listens all the time though. Pretty sure my dad listens to everyone though. Nice, nice. Um, cool. So you were up at five and go get her coffee and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. airport, mm-hmm. and you just said, "Hell, I'm not going back to sleep." Correct. Nice. I got up. Well, so. Without disclosing too much information, I got up at five to pick up my parents, but I gave myself about 15 minutes to make some coffee before I left. So I was ready. Gotcha. Yep. Man, I was going to say, you're very not revealing today. No. Everything's under under the gun. <laughs> That's right. It's very. Did something happen? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing happened. Um, but I think this, this episode may go off the rails. Because oh, we're pissed. normally recording like after a day of work, we come in, mm, yeah. sit down. Yeah, yeah. Right now it's Saturday morning. Got nothing better to do. We could. This might be a six-hour podcast. I don't know. I need more coffee for that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take an intermission and go make some. We'll just let it keep rolling too. So <laughs> it's yeah, just like yeah. a, a video that just keeps going for. We'll just <laughs> we'll just actually put up like a little intermission logo. And we'll put a fan so it blows so you can know it's recording. It's not just... There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, what's on your taquette? We got you... a lot of fact checkers. You got... Oh, wow. Really? A lot. Is it you or me? Um, is this about the Bigfoot thing? No, this is a little bit of both of us. Uh, so, But it's more so me, isn't it? Um, I actually don't remember because some of them are from two episodes ago. Hmm. I don't even uh, know what I ate last week. <laughs> because, so, my brother texted me because I said to Sam when he was here that he might be the only person that's listened to every episode. That was two episodes ago. My brother texted me and was like, hey, I've listened to every episode. And then he started fact checking us. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is this from the most recent episode? He goes, no, I'm one behind. I'm like, okay, so you've listened to every episode, but you're behind. This seems like fake news, but yeah, so it seems like a, a weird semantics type. Because I can see, yes, you've listened to every episode, but not the latest one. Like that's technically wrong. Then exactly. you're wrong. I think um, he's caught up now, though, because I think he went back to back and listened to both of them. Wow, <laughs> that's that's dedication. That's honestly, yeah, dedication or just got a weird amount of free time. <laughs> yeah. He, I, so what are the fact checkers? Oh, sorry. okay. So, uh, we were talking about when Sam was here. I was talking about the Barbie movie. Uh, Sam wrote in to let me know Barbie is played by Margot Robbie, mm. who's commonly confused with the "My Name Is Earl" star Jamie Presley, mm. which is who I was referencing. But I I didn't realize it. I looked them up. They do look very similar. Mm-hmm. Who do you think's more attractive? No, no. no. Which, who do you think is less attractive? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Jamie Presley's older, isn't she? Okay, let's just say they're both in their prime, like age 32. I don't know how old each one of them is. They're probably about... Well, I think Jamie Presley's a little older. I don't know. What's a little older? I bet she's like 10 years older than Margot Robbie. It's my estimate. Should we look it up? 
Yeah, I gotta look up Jamie Presley again. I know they look very similar, you're right, but I just want to make it's confirm. Like, they look scary similar. Like, their eyes are the same, and their hair, and their face. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay, how old is Jamie Presley? Oh, I didn't look. <laughs> This is sorry. Well. This is off the rails already. Yeah, forty-five. Good for her. Okay. Wow. And and how old is Margot Robbie? You guessed thirty-two. I would guess I'll say thirty-five. How Just... old is Margot Robbie? I bet she's like twenty-eight or something. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two years old. No, oh, that's what you said. I am a killer. <laughs> you shouldn't have changed. You said twenty-eight though. So. No, I said I bet she's twenty-eight, but I I still put my eggs in the thirty-two. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So my brother also texted to let us know that. That it was Margot Robbie. Except he called her Margaret Robbie. And Ooh, fact check. Fact n- checker. Not only did he spell Margaret wrong, as in, like, he, her name is Margot. He called her Margaret, but he spelled Margaret wrong. <laughs> he also spelled Robbie wrong. It was Robbie, like, short for Robert, like R O B B Y. <laughs> which I thought was funny. But I was like, yeah, not only are you an episode behind but sam already fact checked that and he was here so yeah boom uh, i think jamie presley is the lesser attractive one you think so i think so I even in their prime i'd have to i'd have to look at pictures anyway my gut would tell me uh my gut would probably agree with you but but i can't make a definitive decision yeah. right now i respect that answer Thank you. Uh, Sam also let us know that Super Bowl rings are indeed made by Jostens. Hey, that's which is good. What, which we had talked about with him when he was here. Fun. Um, I'm going to fact check myself oh. from last week. I was talking about the uh, the brewery that shall not be named. Mm. Um, the other one that you said you went to is owned by a fancy restaurant. Fancy restaurant named Travail. I said that it's a 40 course meal that's like $250. Not quite right. 13 to 18 course dinner, 105 to $155 per person. But after tip and drinks, it's going to be 250. Yeah. It's probably true. Does sound cool though. I would do that. I'd consider that. Um, like as like a special thing like Thanksgiving or Christmas time, maybe. Right, right. With a like a I don't know, large group or small group, but Exactly. I also found I, I've tried this new thing where I just send all these fact checks to the Couch Beers email so they're all in one place. But now I don't know how to sort through them. Anyway, here's another one. I was talking about haggis. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, remind me. Um, I don't remember how it came up. Like, oh, we were talking about Jake and Cassie's kid. You said her name was Hagatha. I was like, is no, that no Agatha like- with an A? I thought. Or did I say Hagatha? I think you said Hagatha. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, and I was like, is that like haggis? Haggis is a real thing. Is it a it's dude the, from Scotland or something? It's the national dish of Scotland. <laughs> it's a type of savory pudding. Haggis is a tasty dish made using sheep's pluck, the lungs, heart, and liver. The cooked mince, the cooked minced offal, O-F-F-A-L, um, is mixed with suet, oatmeal, and seasonings, and encased in sheep stomach. Once stitched up, the stuffed stomach is boiled for up to three hours. So, yeah. There I wonder if go. it's any good. Do, do people make that in, like, everywhere in Scotland? I mean, if it's a national dish. What's our national dish? The hamburger? Yeah, probably. I want to know how you determine or how you... I'm going to look that up, sorry. Cheeseburger. You keep talking about it. I've actually had haggis before. Um, it just kind of tastes like meatloaf. But technically, in the 1970s, the U.S. banned the import of food containing sheep's lung. So, traditional haggis is illegal in the U.S. Talk about that. Illegal food. Sounds pretty good. So, what, what should I put? I put United States official food. What, what the hell yeah. would you put for that? Yeah. Yeah, nothing's really coming up for that. Hold Must on. not have one. Boo, I know. It's, I would okay, vote what, for what, cheeseburger. What would it be? Yeah, cheeseburger. Cheese, are cheese curds, like, exclusive to the United States? Well, Canada's got yeah. curds, but then do they deep fry them up there? I don't know. 
No, I think so. Like poutine is probably considered the national dish of Canada. That okay. has cheese curds in it, but they're not fried. It's that's just, true. That's true. Just the curdled cheese. So, what do you th- you think the cheeseburger should be the United yeah, States definitely meal of choice? What other more iconic dishes from here? Lobster roll, but that's not like all across the U.S. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was thinking of like something like I was like, oh, like hot dish or something. But that, I think that's a Midwest thing. Yeah, <laughs> and very. Uh, well, I think everybody everybody like eats casseroles, but not everybody eats hot dish. That's for damn sure. They don't know what they're missing. Every casserole is a hot dish, but not every hot dish is a casserole. Is that how we're... Correct. Okay. No, I, I actually, I think it's the other way. Hmm. Every hot dish is a casserole, but not every casserole is a hot dish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Okay. What else we got here, Tim? Oh, <laughs> my dad, after we were talking about... Um, this isn't exactly a fact check. Let me go back and see if... Oh, okay. My dad, when we were talking about... You saw like your dad's doppelganger with a young, yeah. with a young Zach. My dad texts me. I saw a 10 year old version of you at Chipotle yesterday. <laughs> I said, that's awesome. Did you talk to me? He said, I was going to, but his dad looked like a jerk. <laughs> I thought wow. that was pretty funny. Well, good. Is that a, that's not a fact check. That's just a, no, no, no. a, a no. nugget. Yep. Just fun, a little a fun back. nugget. Yeah. Shut That's up. it. That's all we got. That's all you got. Everything else we said was 100% factual. Yeah, that's. I agree with that. I like your socks. What's on them? Thank you. It's uh, their Fulton Brewing. Uh, a coworker did like a pub run, and they got Fulton socks, but the brand is Fit Sock, which is like a little tighter around the middle for your arch supports or whatnot. Nice. I don't know. Could be a. Could be a scam. made up thing. Um, oh, oh, you know what I realized? What did you uh, realize last episode when we were talking about the brewery that shall not be named? Yeah, the hats... you gotta stop elevating that. <laughs> well, we're not naming it. We did. I did have someone write in and ask, "Is it, it if, is it this brewery?" And I said yes because they got it correct. Okay. Um, well, yeah. But the hat I was wearing in the last episode while we were talking about it was from that brewery. Was it? Oh, okay. So now the jury's out. Well, it didn't say it didn't have the name on it. it oh, was just like oh, he just bought a, a yeah. It was like it. Fleet Farm. Do you know hat? branded bills? That's like the the brand of hats. They uh, they make like little leather patches and stick them on the front of the hat. The little leather patch on that one was like a cutout of the shape of Minnesota with like hops. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I saw that. I didn't know it was for that. B that will not be named. Yep. It is. It is, and it was. Six, six, six. I should have worn it again today. Didn't Represent. Think about it, but. I'm Tim. I hate kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I will not stand for this blasphemy. I'm, I'm Tim. I love kids. <laughs> not that way. Oh. What do you got? Um. Well, let's see here. Where was it? Well, no, no, no. So, uh, Brian, who I'm trying to get on the, or Blaine, excuse me, mm-hmm. trying to get on the podcast, but he seems, always has scheduling conflicts. Um, Isn't he unemployed currently? I believe so, How yes. How do you have scheduling conflicts? <laughs> well, he apparently does like trivia or something on Wednesdays, and that's primarily when we I do our, our cast. So, he's like, I'm kind of booked up then, and so we'd have to cater to I apologize, to him. Brian. Yeah. We'll get you on here, Blaine, so. Um, but he and I were to Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, I saw that. Louisville. Louisville. It was just the two of you? Just the two of us. Just yeah. a little weekend trip or what? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a quick turn and burn. I got, I'm got. i an ambassador to Maker's Mark, so I got to dip my bottle and all that jazz. Oh. So that was the, the I primary didn't know purpose. They were in Louisville. Are they in Louisville? Uh, they're, no, they're in the boonies. It's like an hour outside of Louisville. It's actually crazy. Like the bourbon trail you see all these giant rick houses and like brewery or breweries distilleries just you just see these rick houses that are just giant things that hold the barrels and age them Mm -hmm. just all over the hills it's crazy it's really it's kind of like weird to be like like you can see it right off the road oh yeah you can see it all off the road um and then half of them they're like yeah for tax purposes we don't even half of our uh rick houses aren't even in Kentucky, they're in like Ohio or something for tax purposes. Hmm. 
Interesting. But, yeah, super interesting. Um, and the stories were really cool. Apparently, you know, like, I think her name was Martha or something. I should remember this because I went on the tour. But, like, it was... Did she own a vineyard? It was, like, uh, Rob, whatever, Samuel, the guy whose name is on the... Who bought Maker's Mark. His mm. name's on it or whatever. Uh, his wife said, the wax seal is the mark of a maker. <laughs> and that was how Maker's Mark got his deal. Um, That's how they... They've still been doing it to this day. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and that's trademark. Did you know that? The wax seal? The wax seal, yeah. So no other whiskey can have wax. What if I made or my maybe own it's the vodka? Di- the, maybe the, the the drip might be trademarked. Interesting. Because I think Levin Williams has a black wax seal, but it doesn't drip. Hmm. I think someone fact checked me on that because that's what they told me, and I believe them. I believe it. I don't remember seeing other bottles like that. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Yeah, just really cool stuff there. Uh, then we toured, or we didn't tour Angel's Envy, but we went in there and had some drinks. And the guy was really, I don't know, I did not like our tasting guy. Mm-hmm. Like he just, he started off with like the history of the family and how they sold out to Bacardi. And then he ended with like, are there any questions? And he said it in such a way to where everyone's like, I have questions, but. I feel like you don't want me to ask them. Like, that's how it went. And it was like, it was a really weird, I didn't like the guy at all. Cause he was like, what do you taste? And like, pretty much was like, if he said, Hmm, I think I get some caramel. He's like, Hmm, yeah. And I like, he like, didn't believe you. I don't know. It was really weird. He's like wrong. Kind of. Um, but the story of angels envy is pretty cool. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm going to go with it though. So there's something called the angel share when they age barrel or mm-hmm. bourbon, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Where like every year five percent between what is it is it two and five percent of the stuff you're aging evaporates. They call that mm. the angel share. So that's where you know a barrel's only good generally speaking for like five years, and then you put it into a different barrel if you're going to age it longer. Mm-hmm. That's why like Pappy, when they say twenty year, it's been through at least four barrels, and at least let's see if it's five percent every year. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> I don't know. It'd be like a, a quarter, not even a product left. Well, it's five percent of the remaining, so I guess it's not. Oh, okay. Even. Doesn't matter. But anyway, hmm. so he's like, "Damn you, angels! Like taking my bourbon." <laughs> and so he started finishing his bourbon or his spirits in like port barrels, wine barrels, mm-hmm. and that's and rum barrels too. So that's where he's like, "Got angels envy. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna make something that the angels are gonna envy." <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I believe so that. Sounds, if you say it with a southern accent, it sounds like it kind of makes more sense. <laughs> like, damn you angels. <laughs> I'm going to make something that you're going to envy. <laughs> I like the little laugh at the end. That's the, that's really like how southern. you know it's legit. That's southern, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so then that was a cool story. And then, uh, oh, uh, really cool thing. So we went to, we all, we toured old forester which uh which i didn't know they could make bourbon before during and after prohibition <sighs> excuse me so how did they do before i mean like, i mean how before do they, like, they did it like how they did after <laughs> <laughs> but like like how did they how did they transition from making so, it before prohibition and then still making it during prohibition so that's the thing is like there was only i think six companies that could produce alcohol during prohibition for medicinal reasons really and apparently so this is what the tour guide said she said there were there's a list of 27 ailments that bourbon can be prescribed for yeah and she's like have you ever heard of the i'm gonna screw up the date but she's like the 19 the 1927 hangnail epidemic (laughs) and i was like no way and she's like yeah so that was one of them one of the 27 ailments was that was like the loophole, loop hill, loop hill. Oh my gosh, loophole. Oh my gosh. So like, was it because like you could put alcohol on your hangnail? No, it was to like cure it, or it was like because it was. Well, so maybe painful. it was that, but people drank it. You know, it was like being abused. I think it was a way for them to. Yeah. So anyway, Old Forester was. So Old Forester, it was like Doctor Forester was a, a well-renowned doctor in the area. Mm-hmm. And there was a problem with consistency with bourbon and all this crap made out in the woods and 
you go blind if you drink it and stuff, you know. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So Old Forester, the guy who, the company, the distiller, said, hey, you're a reputable doctor. You know, could you endorse this product? You know, we have quality control. We seal the, the bottle so we know it's not tampered with because mm-hmm. pharmacies would, like, you know, pump it full of water or something or God yeah, knows what yeah. when they were kind of running low. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, they, they stamped it and they, like, sealed it so then they knew it was a quality product. And old Dr. Forrester stood behind the product. And hmm. Then when he died, it used to be Old Forrester with two R's. Because that was how you spelled his name. Yeah. And then when he re- died, they retired one of the R's and said, a salute to you. Nice. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But sounds Seems good. legit. It seems like something easily fact-checkable. Yeah. So anyway, really cool. Sweet. A lot of history. Very interesting, too. I was like, you know, Brian br- pointed it out. Like, that it kind of seems like the the town of Louisville. Like, it got a lot. we got a lot of Northeast and, like... uh uptown vibes yeah like minneapolis uptown vibes and yeah northeast so we kind of got those vibes which is cool but then we also brian said it really good we get saint paul vibes and it feels like it's kind of on top of it everything's on top of each other or one of okay yeah like yeah. just kind of really packed in there and we're looking at all these neighborhoods and all these i mean these houses are just like they, it looks like a bunch of trailers lined up <laughs> they're so they're so narrow mm-hmm. and i asked the uber driver said why the hell are all these houses so long and so narrow and i don't know again i don't know if the i didn't fact check because i don't really care that much but the uber drivers like uh kentucky used to have like a state law where you were taxed your property tax was based on the width of your house not how long it was what i don't but that's i mean i don't like it it, but i was kind of like it it explains why they were like essentially like that's trailers i mean that's that's so weird really weird so the only evidence that I had that you went to uh, Louisville, Louisville. Was, <laughs> Louisville was Brian sent a video of you doing karaoke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was at like Frank's Frank's Pup Yard or something. I don't remember what song you were singing. <laughs> it wasn't good. It was probably like CCR or something. Yeah. I think it was CCR, actually. It's either CCR or Eagles, probably. Yeah. It was good. Looked like you were having fun. It was having fun. It was, that was, oh, it was like we did everything wrong (laughs) when we went there. We, so we got in Thursday, then, okay, everything, Murphy's Law, right? Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Mm -hmm. Mine, I mean, so we picked up the car, okay, we found the place, and like, I hate, okay, I've only done personal Airbnb experience, like when I booked it. This is my only time. Mm-hmm. But I've been to other people's Airbnbs and whatnot. Yeah. But I hate that it's like these companies now are coming in and just buying up all these properties. And like, it's a rental property now. It's just like a shitty hotel kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this that's what this was. You know, pretty cool spot. But they gave me the wrong door code to the wrong building. Yeah. But like the right code to get into the unit. Hmm. So Brian and I were spending an hour and a half after we... We got into this, like, one building, the wrong building. Yeah. And I'm like, the door code's not working. And I'm, like, lighting up these, uh, the host being like, you got to fix this and figure it out. Finally, like, after an hour, they're like, okay, I'm 20 minutes away. I'll drive and we'll get you a new whatever. It's a company property. And she was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Finally get into the unit. All good. But at this point, I had lit every fuse for, like, (laughs) You know, reporting them on Airbnb, the host. Like, this is the lady who came and helped, you know. thank, Thankfully, she was really nice. But she was really like, oh, I'm sorry, we have like 90 properties. Like, Oh, my gosh. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, how do you screw up giving me the wrong door code to the wrong property, kind of? Whatever. But, so I had lit every fuse. So, Airbnb was now, like, asking for feedback from me and kind of, like, attacking them i don't know what they do on their end yeah but anyway so i think it was the next day brian and i are going to the kentucky bourbon trail (laughs) i'm driving and uh airbnb calls and i answer and they're asking it's a call center right so like 
no one actually cares. Oh, what was your experience like? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I just said, I'm not happy. I spent an hour and a half dicking around, blah, blah, blah. And I just like kind of lit them up and they're like, oh, you know, unapologetic. Like, okay, thank you. know, thank you. I apologize that this happened to you. Like, they don't care, right? Right. And then it was like, this call is being recorded, blah, 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 for quality assurance. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then uh, this is, Brian kind of died about it. Um, but so so we rented a Subaru. I'm just changing gears, giving context. Mm-hmm. Uh, a 2022 Subaru Outback wild wilderness or something okay has all the what bells and whistles it, it was blue green? blue oh. um actually it was a pretty badass car you gonna buy oh, one no so, CV- so not that badass. cvt i mean didn't have a good turn radius but hey cvts <laughs> are supposed to be getting better okay hey yeah give them a chance they just have gutless pigs when you put it to the floor that's fair but so i'm when i'm driving this car i'm like I couldn't figure out. I just started driving, right? So I, I'm learning about this the lane, uh, lane assist and the, the proximity mm-hmm. thing. Uh, so I'm like, I finally figured out the proximity, so I could get behind people and move around traffic. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, I'm fighting the car because I'm apparently driving on the line or something. I, I was like, I, why am I like fighting this to stay in my lane? And so I was so agitated at that point and I couldn't find the button and I was like trying to, there's so many buttons like on this car. I, I was overwhelmed. I was like, ah, I'm driving. I'm trying to figure out everything. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so Airbnb calls and then after the call, I'm like, or about to hang up the call. I'm like, he's like, anything, any other questions you have? I said, could you Google how to turn off a 2022 Subaru Outback <laughs> lane assist? I can't, I'm fighting this car right now. <laughs> he's like, uh, <laughs> And then I just kept talking because he didn't know what to say. Yeah, and I was like, fair. I mean, can you even turn it off? Like, uh, maybe it's a safety feature. You can't even. No, you could probably turn it off. <laughs> no, you can. And he's just like, you're right. I don't think you can turn it off. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I was like, all right, well, thanks. So Brian was dying next to me. but My dad got a, a, <laughs> a newer car. Uh, What, last year or something? Don't disclose what kind. Uh, I will model. not. It's like, top secret. It's a Kia. Um, tell you red, uh, and he, his has all these safety features. Like it can do, I don't know what Kia calls it, but Ford calls it lane centering where like, it'll actually like basically steer for you when you have it turned on and you have to have your hand on the wheel, but like it'll steer, it'll like slow down and speed up based on the traffic, everything. I got in, uh, to borrow it one time and my dad goes, Oh, I turned off all the safety features. I was like, yes, I was like, <laughs> I started laughing. I'm like, aren't they there to make it more safe? Like the whole point is to be safer. So I turned them off. I don't know if he uses them or not, but I think some of them are good, but like the, the thing where like the proximity, if I want to go 65, I don't want to be like a quarter of a mile away and my car slow down because there's a slow car in that. Lane. Well, you can set how far I know, but I know. No, I like that. That's that's like the one feature I really miss in my car because, like, um, sitting in traffic, it's so much easier to just, like, let the car slow down and speed up for you than it is to, like, brake yeah. and accelerate and brake, turn your cruise control back on. You when, just leave it on. When I, I know, but when I went to North Dakota with that Prius, it's like... You set the rain, or you have it set, right? But then it, for me, it was, like, super annoying because I'd be creeping up on someone, and all of a sudden I realized I'm, like, going 15 miles an hour slower because it didn't alert me, like, it, that it kicked in. Mm-hmm. It was just, like, slowly gradual. I slowly backed off, and I was, like, going from 80 to, like, 71. I said, what the hell? Is the car broken? <laughs> and then it's, like, I pumped the... Gr- break or the the gas little and then it like then it flashes saying like oh proximity and i'm like turn off Hmm. ride ass (laughs) there should be a button oh snowmageddon do you want to talk about that sure opinions thoughts uh well yeah it definitely was less severe than it was predicted to be i know i know southern parts of minnesota got pounded yeah (laughs) because you got like 12 inches I think we got oh, that like, doesn't make sense. It should be sixteen like, ounces. 
I think I think we <laughs> got like ten inches or something. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too scary. Well, they went from twenty eight to like fourteen. Yeah, within. I don't know. I was just kind of chuckling, but yeah, I know the South got pounded a lot. But I was in uh, L.A. for work, and I flew yeah. back Wednesday morning. I thought for sure my flight was going to get canceled because. I had a friend that was flying out of Minneapolis um, that afternoon, and his flight got canceled, and he was looking. He was like, there's, like, no flights leaving Minneapolis after, like, noon. And my flight was supposed to land at, like, 2 after 2, and then it got delayed, and I was like, oh, I'm screwed. But we made it. Good. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, what was it? There was... Oh, a guy at work uh, said there's a conspiracy where when grocery stores have bad sales, the quote-unquote weather terrorists <laughs> bring up, like, Snowmageddon, and everyone, fle- you know, rushes to the grocery store thinking that for some reason they won't be plowed out <laughs> There's for the no next, way for the that next two true. months. I don't know. <laughs> there's no way that that's true because, like... There is a way. Well, you, you'd think about who would have to coordinate that thing. It would be... The major weather stations? <laughs> the major weather stations and the major grocery stores. So, like, but I think, don't know. There'd be Target, too many people that Target would... and Walmart. Costco. Think of the power they hold over their customers. <laughs> I No. I think it's far-fetched. Like... I wouldn't say it's totally not possible. I would say it's 98% not possible. Or not true. Yeah. yeah. But certainly possible. Yeah. Unlikely but possible yeah it wasn't too bad and the good part about this type of snow was that it was the really light fluffy stuff not the heavy wet snow so it like snow blowing it's a breeze haha yeah Yeah. it was yeah it was really more blowy than it was snowy yeah Um, but it was really windy like uh, our in our driveway the uh snow was like on kind of the north side of the driveway, the snow was like probably three feet deep. Damn. What, uh, do you have a snowblower? Yeah. It's you an errand. You hate the shuffle or the, what? <laughs> what? You hate <laughs> the shovel? Yeah. I, I, do, like the I, sh- do I think I said shuffle. shuffle. <laughs> the shuffle's okay. Shoveling, not my favorite. Or do you have the push shovel or like the scoop it up and move Both. it? Oh, damn. You're king of the shovels. Mm hmm. Damn. I was using the scoop it up shovel. So I did my snow blowing and then I came back, cleaned it up with the shovel. Not snowed again today, like this morning. Ugh. But I think it's supposed to be warm enough the next couple of days that it should just melt. Knock on wood, right? Yep. But it's what supposed else? to snow again on Monday. So maybe while people are listening to this, it's pounding snow. Oh. <laughs> Well, better pound of snow than pound of sand. Am I right? <laughs> True. <laughs> um, trying to go through some. I did. I did come with one thing. Oh, let's hear it. I have a proposal for you. So you remember all these like Chinese spy balloons and all this stuff that was getting shot down a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I mean, I know about them. I don't. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about them. So they they were like very vocal about it being a Chinese spy balloon, right? Who's they? Uh, the news and okay. I think the government said that I don't know sure okay but they didn't really say what the other things they shot down were where'd they shoot them down at uh, there's one that was like over Lake Michigan or something one was like over Canada I don't remember not important but <laughs> if you th- if you really think about it like people were saying oh it's aliens obviously very Unlikely. likely that it's not aliens. But if it was, you think about it. Think about think about this. When we go to explore another planet, like Mars, we're not sending like manned spacecraft the first time. We're spending surveillance devices. We're sending s- surveillance devices, you know? Like we're sending mm-hmm. the rover to Mars so mm-hmm. it can drive around and look at rocks and stuff. If aliens were going to send spacecraft to Earth, 
the first ones they sent are not going to be manned. They're just going to be things floating around looking, right? So maybe it is aliens. Yes. I, I guess where my mind goes with that immediately is if they have the technology to create a surveillance craft to come down. Yeah. They have the technology to look at our damn surface and see that we have civilization and life. Maybe they don't. I know. Like I said, I just feel like if you can do one, you should be able to do the other. Or maybe, maybe so like. That's like skipping the car and just going right to flight or to space travel and not even and bypassing <laughs> airplanes and cars and being like, screw it. Yeah. Right. You kind of miss it. There's steps in between, I feel like. Yeah. Maybe, I'm just being stupid. I don't know. <laughs> but like, like, I think the way, the way science works is like. When you're looking at something really, really far away with really good machinery, like really good equipment, you can see based on the way the light from the star is reflecting or whatever, you can see what planets have atmospheres and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can, based on how we know how humans are able to survive and other life on Earth is able to survive, we understand there's like this Goldilocks zone where life could be sustained based on the size of the sun how near the planet is so like there's this goldilocks zone in other star systems we're like this planet's there this planet has an atmosphere yeah let's send stuff to it to go look so mm. maybe it's just like gotcha this is okay. their first time sending stuff to our planet gotcha and it's like they're far far away they're not right, outside right. the right. i was thinking like star wars they're right outside no. the planet like look there it is yeah yeah <laughs> No, if they got if they were able to come here, they probably would just make the, make the rest of the trip down. What happened to our thing? I don't know. <laughs> we lost contact. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Awesome. Um, oh, you know what was a good show? Yeah. No. Did I, did I bring this up last time? I don't know. Russian Doll. Have you seen that? No. Nope. Check it out. Is that new? Is it's that... relatively new. I'd say it's like. Second season came out probably last year. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was brand new. Like, when I first saw it come out, I was like, I eh, don't really care because I didn't know what it was about. I watched the first episode and I was kind of hooked. Is it better than Severance? I haven't seen Severance. What? I haven't heard. Whatever. I don't. I can't beam it from my telly. The Last of Us, just getting better and better. Heaven, yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Last episode was kind of meh compared to other ones. In my opinion. Agree to disagree. What? I liked it. I liked it. It's probably my second favorite. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. They're all they're but just all so they're all so good. Every episode. Yeah, they're all good. I agree. I'm um, all in. I'm trying to think. We beat that dead horse though. We don't have to talk about the last of us. <laughs> yeah. But we do have to talk about Severance. So you gotta watch it. Tell you what. You watch the consultant. I will watch Severance, but I don't know how to watch it. Is your TV not smart TV? Like, can I Google Chrome on my phone, Apple TV, and then cast to my TV? I don't know. Do I have to... <sighs> what, like, what kind of TV do you have? A Vizio. Does it have, like, can you download apps on it? Yeah, I don't know if it lets me do Apple butthole TV. Because it's, like, locked down Vizio or what? Um, like what is what is the operating? Is it Roku? I don't, so I, sorry, I use my Google ca Chromecast to do everything, but my TV is also a smart TV, so I could probably see if there's something. I've never explored that because it's like, I mean, we're talking like 2013 technology here. Mm -hmm. Like, I might have a like a Roku stick somewhere around here. I could just give you. Well, I'll, let me explore my options first. Okay. How long are the episodes? An hour? Uh, yeah. He said with confidence. Like 45 minutes, I think. 45 to an hour. Okay. Um, it's so good. Oh. It's like the best the best show that's currently on TV. It's not even close. Like, Last of Us, I think, is probably the second best, but... You think Severance is better, huh? Yeah. I do. I don't think everyone would agree with me, but in oh. my opinion. I don't want to like switch back to like talking about movies or whatnot, but you know what I watched the other day? What? The Mask of Zorro with Antonio Banderas and, uh, oh my gosh, 
Anthony Hopkins. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Oh, very good movie for being a 1999 movie. Mm. Excellent. I did see that. I thought it was like a more recent sequel. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I've seen that. That's a great movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. Probably since 1999. But. But. Okay. Oh, Big Yon. Big Yon. Um, I'm trying to think. There was something I put on. I found on LinkedIn that I. Uh, okay, honestly, I don't know if it's what's going on with LinkedIn, but. It's entirely possible that I suspect that as more, I'm going to say boomers, well, as boomers get laid off, they, they flee to a professional network similar to Facebook and post similar shit. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm getting a lot of like just stupid stuff that it's like universal things that I think I've talked about this before, but they're universal things that no one disagrees with. Like. Be, treating others with respect is great and it's like <laughs> yeah like why do i need to repost that and like it don't know don't know you want to hear something controversial you don't think everyone should be tra- treated with respect <laughs> no oh no i definitely think everyone should be treated with respect what's controversial then <laughs> i went on linkedin the other day that is pretty controversial <laughs> uh basically the only reason i open the linkedin app is to clear notifications when Ooh. i get them um but I happen to see on my feed, there is some post and I read it and I'm like, man, Zach would hate this. This is exactly what he's been talking about for how ah, much he hates it. What's and the then post? I, well, I, I don't actually remember, but I looked right at the tippy top, right above everything. It wasn't an account I followed or whatever. All I see is Zach liked this. And what? I was like, I like no something? way. No way. I, there's yeah. no way. You hated the post that I liked, or I liked I didn't hate it, but I thought you would. Apparently, I was wrong. But I liked it. How do I look at? So my now hands? I'm convinced it's just like I'm playing into the boomers. You're, you're in a mood. You go on LinkedIn. You see something. You're like, <sighs> I mean, LinkedIn is a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a tattoo, what? so I hope I got a tattoo to, so. to my page. Exactly. How do I find my likes? I think you might have to find my likes. I don't know. I'll see if I can. I don't know. I don't know how I would activity. Find it. Oh. Post. Show me likes. I don't even. Wait. Have, is it? Oh, I do. Is it the here. getting close to retirement? Download your handy checklist. No. Oh. <laughs> Are you getting close to retirement? No, but it's uh, <laughs> shout out to my buddy uh, Brennan, who's a wealth advisor. He, I'm, me and Dallas are the only two people that like his posts on LinkedIn. That's awesome. And it's always a, a, a battle to see who can like it for, before the other. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to Brandon. Yeah. Oh, is it the... Here, let me see. Is it that one? No. Can I just scroll? Sure. Celebrating two years. Um. Oh, you know what? It might have been this one. What was that? The, the Spirit, Spirit Airlines. <laughs> I you, love Spirit, are, dude. You, you're pro Spirit Airlines. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a free a, Spirit. Put it that way. Yeah. I'm taking a um, <laughs> Spirit Airlines flight in a couple months. Let me know, and I'll say some prayers to you for you. <laughs> Thank you. But it was like like a third of the price of the other flights I was looking at. So was it the Spirit? What is this? I read think, it, read I the think post. it was this. Read um, it. Why would I hate this? So the uh, I'll I'll add some context to this. The picture is like a flight staff that's all women flight crew flight crew i don't know what the right term is i think it is flight crew uh Uh, we know pilots they'll correct us a flight group flight group uh (laughs) the post says okay ladies now let's get in aviation with a lady pilot emoji uh we're on a mission to help women advance in the field of aviation. In support of that goal, we'll be at the annual Women in Aviation International Conference, February 23rd. See, but th- now I'm thinking, I did see this post, but I'm not thinking this is the <laughs> one because this is, like, related to work and stuff. Is it? Yeah. Sounds like you're trying to bash me and it just... Oh, no, it was this one. It was oh. this one. What is it? It's some guy posted a l- screenshots of a tweet about pizza and using math and stuff. This is what it was, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Read it, man. I don't know. Okay, so the, this the, this guy's post, uh, I don't even 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. It says PhD, though, so he must be pretty smart. Oh, Maritash or something? Is yeah. Is it Maritash? Yeah. He's a smart dude. Uh, and also, it says his occupation is, please click follow button for the latest development in dot, dot, dot. I think he's a English as a second language kind of guy. No, but he's like, is his job an influencer? No, I think probably a chat bot is running his page. Because mm. there's, there's a couple people I follow that post the same thing. So I think they kind of just like go after certain accounts and they just I repost see. everything that everyone does. I which see. I don't agree with, but at least it's kind of nerdy. Okay, so he's posted three screenshots. Uh, it's three tweets from the same account that is not him. It says, I ordered a nine-inch pizza. After a while, the waiter brought two five-inch pizzas and said the nine-inch pizza was not available, and he was giving me two five-inch pizzas instead, and that I am getting one inch more for free. I requested the waiter to call the owner. That's the first tweet. Second tweet. I gave him the mathematical formula to calculate the area of a circle. Circle area equals pi r squared. Where pi equals 3.1, blah, 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 blah. So 9-inch circle area equals 63.62 inches, 63.62 square inches. While 5-inch circle area is 19.63. Two five, the, the, this is the third tweet. Two 5-inch circle areas add up to 39.26 square inches. I said that even if he gave me three pizzas, I would still lose out. Quote, how can you... Say you're giving me an extra inch for free. The owner was speechless. He finally gave me four pizzas. Take math seriously. I think I liked the last message. Take math seriously instead of... I mean, all that stuff in between is honestly probably not real. No, there's no... No one serves five-inch pizza. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even think think about about how small... That's like donut-sized pizza. They make those. Those <laughs> no, are like personal size no, pizzas or whatever. No, you can get you get those at, at uh, in like four packs Wait, at uh, that's Cub. Like, that's like a bagel bite. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's like a pizza bagel bite. <laughs> so I think I, that's what I thought of when I, I saw. <laughs> I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, Zach would hate this. And then I look, <laughs> Zach liked this, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding. I'm me. the reason it popped on your feet. You man. are. You are. You must have been in a good mood. You like take Matt seriously. Awesome. Like it's like well that's a good different message than all the other BS that's out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't but, even uh, think about the <laughs> five inch pizza thing. Like even a nine inch pizza, like yeah, personal pan pizza could be nine inch. Oh, and here's a funny. I should have I should have looked in, a little closer, but the guy who's tweeting all this. Yeah. He's got. He's an old timer. <laughs> Well, maybe he's a math magician. You don't know. Math magician. Did you see Cocaine Bear last night? I did not. <sighs> did you? No. I was hanging out with my, my IT boys. Apparently, it's getting good reviews. I'm, I am I don't know if it's getting good reviews. I'm hearing a lot of reviews and people saying, like, why did someone even <laughs> try to make this movie? Interesting. But in a good way. I think the last movie I saw like that was... Uh... That it was just like meant to be stupid was. Don't you dare to say the movie I'm thinking you're gonna say. Rubber. Okay. Have you ever seen Rubber? It's about a killer tire. Um, I think my friends want me to watch it, but uh, no, I've not seen that. I wa- I watched it in college with uh, I don't know my roommates or something, and it's like an hour and a half. I got done. I was like, wow. That is an hour and a half. I'm never going to get back. Because <laughs> isn't it half the video? I mean, I'm assuming. I don't know. If it climbs stairs, don't they just reverse the footage? I have no idea. Oh. I don't know how they shot it. but Yeah, it is just the tire rolling around like most of the movie. Hmm. Oh. I got something. Yeah. So. Von Hansen's Meats. Ever mm-hmm. been there? Yep. I used to go there and be like, oh, damn, everything's so damn expensive. Mm-hmm. But if you find the right stuff, man, that's like a gold mine. I got some smoked, seasoned, pre-cooked, shredded chicken. Interesting. And it was absolutely pre-shredded? amazing. Pre-shredded? Yeah, it was like pre-shredded and everything. And it was cooked. Nice. And so nice. all I did is added fajita seasoning. And then I had, you know, chicken fajitas. And it was 
bomb all week. It's like 20 bucks for like two pounds. I don't know. It's almost stupid. Mm -hmm. Like slam dunk. We've started buying uh, deli meat from the deli. So we're pretty fancy, you could say. What prompted that Uh, change in behavior? I don't know. Belinda started doing it. It It tastes way better, in my opinion. Damn. Good to know. It's like nine bucks a pound or something, though. It's pretty spendy. Yeah, but if you eat it. It's worth it. I'm glad I'm glad I've learned the value of a dollar, put it that way. Yeah. It's a polite way of saying I'm glad I was poor for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz it's like I uh if I bought it and I didn't use it, it was wasteful mm-hmm. and it's like I didn't, couldn't afford to like waste my piss my money away. Yeah. He's, I mean, you lived in these. You saw what I freaking ate. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, rice, cauliflower, bacon, eggs. and then eggs. Yeah. And you'd like... What else did I... I mean, you, be you, honest. You what else did much, I really make? But I lived there for like three years with you. That that was a regular <laughs> evening meal. For yeah. You. It was like, I don't know, four eggs, bacon, rice, cauliflower. Yeah. Buffalo sauce. Frank's buffalo sauce. Yeah, I think I probably owe you a big one of that because I used a lot of that, that buffalo sauce there. We always had like three bottles, so probably wasn't all mine. Well, I owe Jake and Cassie some buffalo about a dollar fifty. <laughs> Might be three dollars. That was good. I, I you you did make me some of that. I like that. What's that? What did I make you? That Brussels sprouts and eggs and bacon and buffalo sauce. Heaven, yeah. Sounds good. Might go make some after Damn this. Good. Damn right. It is about breakfast time. Oh, yeah, I forgot a Cetra Day. What time did we start this hog? Well, I don't know. This might be the longest episode yet. No, I think it's been like 40 minutes. It's my estimate. Oh, nice. Okay, sounds about right. We were planning to start at 9.27, but we started a little early. My bad. No, it's all good. I was up I at was the butt crack of dawn. Samesies. I watched the sun come up. Okay, I got something funny. Yeah. This is just maybe my stupid, twisted, funny humor, because mm-hmm. I... I'd like to say I listen most of the time when people talk. Mm-hmm. So I think the best insults, I don't know if they're insults. They're just kind of like funny things. So they're not, you're not saying something is definitive kind of, but you're like, like, here, let me give you an example. Like if you, if we were walking around in like a grocery store or hardware store or something. Sure. Anywhere. And I just said like, that dude kind of looks like he... <laughs> He collects Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> like, you know, I feel like everyone with what they know about, like, Nazis and, like, crazy people and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, everyone has a picture of what that person looks like in their head. Yep. And so, like, if it if you connect with, like, two or three uh, things that the person's thinking about, uh, they, they relate and they laugh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, what do you think of <laughs> when you see... Okay, I, I got my eyes closed right now. I'm picturing this person okay. that you think collects Nazi memorabilia. Okay. Um, I'd say they're a little muscular, maybe with some tattoos. Okay. Um, clean shaven, but but like <laughs> not 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 newly clean shaven. Like you can tell it's been. They got five o'clock shadow, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, bald head. Uh, they're holding a microphone and have headphones on. Um, gray t-shirt and blue jeans. <laughs> I'm just <Okay>. describing you. <laughs> I don't, a gray I was, t-shirt? <laughs> I was waiting, blue. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for, for you to be like, wait a minute. You never caught on. Well, no, I was going to say, uh, I feel like everyone's got something in their head of what that looks like. And I'm just like, like, I'm just thinking when I am in Menards or something, I look at someone and I'm like, you know, it looks like he could be open to a, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like to collecting Nazi memorabilia. Yeah. Like, he, like, like that person looks like they could be open to be, you know. Raising so, raising into, chickens. Raising chickens, or that person looks like they could be talked into joining a cult. <laughs> like, what does that person look like? And it's just, it's anybody, right? Yeah. That's what I just like yeah. the way it's like phrased. It's like, 
you're not saying that they they are in a cult or anything, but yeah. it's like they look like they could be convinced to join. It's like it, <laughs> like what does that mean? Yeah, like you you can really say it about anybody um, and anything really because it could happen to any one of us. <laughs> <laughs> How's you look right at me? <laughs> um, but like y- you're right though. It, that's funny because you can like say that about anybody and then get that person you're saying it to to immediately picture it in their head right and then and because it's like again i think it's all like you're not you're not saying something is definitive it's yeah. like this everything's an open door it's a possibility like they look like they could be convinced that is that's okay, not try, even... try one on me say something about me <laughs> let me think i'm trying to think of one off the top of my head oh um <laughs> he looks like he would try vegan. <laughs> <laughs> or would be open to the conversation. See, even all this stuff is it's like it's not a definitive thing. So it's like he looks like he'd be open to the conversation to be vegan. Like you're not even it's not even saying you would be vegan. It's you're open to the conversation about veganism. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just think it's hilarious because it's like everything, it's like double, whatever, inception of, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The I keep I saying either. definitive. I think that's the wrong word. It's not definitive. Yes. Everything's an open door. And then there's two open doors and it like gets more complex. Yeah. You do one on me. You look like someone that could spend three weeks at Disney World. <laughs> that's that's good. I just don't know. I'm I pictured someone <laughs> what that person looks like in my head. I'm like, I don't know. I don't really feel me, but <laughs> that's why it works. Like using what you just said, I would describe Brad as that. Brad looks like he could spend three weeks at Disney World. Yeah. Or live there. <laughs> What about... I'm trying to think like, of other people that have been on the podcast. Okay. Sam looks like uh, someone that would learn about tractors for fun. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of does. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's how it works. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been I've been doing that about, about every day whenever I'm... Whenever I see someone that just... When you're just wandering around a store by yourself, you'll just think it. Kind of. I'm like, that person, lo- like, if you told me that person collected, like, teacups, I'd be like, yeah, I see it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just, like, weird things. Like, yeah. Because then you just, like, I don't know, you train you, you train yourself to, like, look for those attributes that's in your head, right? Yeah. So then they only pop. Like, bottle, Coke bottle glasses or something. <laughs> it's like It's like, oh, yeah, I see that. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just kind of funny. I laugh at myself a lot. You are pretty funny. Like, oh, that was a good one because I thought about it the other day because I went to the CBD shop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know about your experience with CBD shops, but the employees who work there are just off. They're weird. Well, yeah, they're probably just stoned. <laughs> well, they're stoned or just weird in general. Like this dude. <sighs> I got to imagine that that's not a a job that pays very well. So they're probably just people that are passionate about their products. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and I would agree with that. I, the thing is like this kid, like you can tell there's like zero to none social skills. Yeah. Like he's like, hi. And like, you know, just like a weird, and I was like, Hey, like what's, you know, what's good kind of thing. And, and it was just kind of like a, you know, like, I don't know what what's going on. But then after that experience, I was like, if that's everyone's, not everyone's, but most everyone's experience with a CBD shop employee, mm-hmm. if someone were, if I were to describe someone and say like, it looks like he works at a CBD shop at like, on Friday nights kind of thing, people might be like, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Anyway, it I looks like, like his name is Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like you have to be named Sloan. To work at a store like that, or a sex shop, yeah, 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 fair, or a sword shop. <laughs> I mean, you work at some weird 
store. Well, they have like the porcelain dragons and like the yeah. knives and swords, and it's like they had one of those cool. at the Mall of America. Cool. It's probably still there, but I remember wandering around there as a kid. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I want remember, a sword. I yeah, I was the same way. I was like, wow, like a cool like dragon thing that yeah. the sword like. The sword goes into the dragon's mouth. Yeah. That's like a sheath. Yeah. And you're like, damn, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, if you saw that nowadays, it's probably at a garage sale. Right. <laughs> and you're probably like, damn, that's cool. <laughs> but I won't buy it now because I don't need it. He looks like the kind of guy that would collect figurines. <laughs> well, he's got to be specific with the type of figurines. Like Anime Barbies. figurines. Okay. <laughs> that, is, that puts a big different <laughs> picture on it. <laughs> but yeah that's a I'll have fun with that that's a really fun okay, fun thing I will It'll, you'll laugh at yourself because it's like what does that person look like that's what you really gotta think about because the great thing is uh, Belinda's about a year behind on the podcast so I, I've got a whole year to start doing this before she'll realize what's going on hell yeah I'm trying to think yeah there's just so many out there you just gotta like it's hard to think of them out for outright unless you've already thought of them like i said about the cbd shop employee <laughs> i don't know to me i was like that was, I was that's like in my back pocket that's a good one because if you see someone that kind of is weird you can be like i bet they work at a cbd shop and everyone be like <laughs> i can see it <laughs> but yeah Anything else? What else you got? What's... That's about all I got. I feel like I'm a little off today, just because. Oh, it's a Saturday. It's you Saturday. Get, it's gonna get your it's beauty morning. Sleep. It's not not evening. <sighs> oh well, an update. Uh, I'm meeting with one of the local artists about the the Bigfoot drawings. Is that today. right? Well, I texted. Is this someone you them. know or you yeah? Like... Okay. Um, I don't want to. I can't wait. Well, I texted them and they didn't respond. So. Whoa. Maybe you're not meeting. Well, I just said, like, hey, dude. Or do that. <laughs> like, what What do you think about this? And crickets, man. Nothing. Wow. And now I'm meeting up with them today. Maybe you'll get ghosted. Hope not. But, Hope not, too. But, yeah, it'll be dust good. Um, Sweet. Yeah, well, I got nothing else. Me uh, either. I'll try to come prepared next. We'll have to come prepared next time with... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get a couple more. written down. Yeah. We'll just kind of laugh it out. I do have to go to Costco, so maybe I'll just sit in the food court and start taking notes. It's kind of like... It's like a, a a variant of, like, Karen, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You, everyone has that Karen look in your head, mm-hmm. but it's like... Called the Karen effect. You My know. mom's name is Karen, so that might be offensive to With her. a C or a K? K. Hers is spelled the standard way. Very Karen like. Yeah. Well, Karen, you're you're one of the you're the uh exceptions, not the rule. Also, we talked about this, I think, with Sam, but his mom is also Karen, but with a Y. We talked about that, right? How do you spell Karen with a Y? Like Karen C A R no, K A R Y N. Oh, Karin. Did we not talk about that? Because that's a great story. How she was named Karin? Because she was born with an E. And she changed her name because she always wanted to have a letter that went below the line. Oh, for cursive? Name. Yeah. Damn, that's pretty. That's kind of badass. But she changed it when she got married. And her new last name. Has a letter that goes below the line. Which one? What's that noise? My computer's going crazy. You hear that? Kind of. Um, What's... Hold on. Her last name has a letter that goes below the line. Which one? G. What letter? G. Lowercase g. Wait, your mom's last name is not... No, no, this is Sam's mom. Oh, I thought we were talking about your mom for a second. No. I was like, wait a minute. No. I know your last name. I don't. Yeah, my last name does not. <laughs> I was like, what's what's going below the line, brother? But okay. also, my mom did not change her last name. She has a letter that goes below the line. Fun fact. Mm. Giving a lot of 
a lot of personal information. Yeah, you didn't here. disclose anything at the beginning, and now this you're might all like just be bleeped book. out. I'm just gonna replay the bleep noise <laughs> over and over beep, again. Beep. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Cool. Well, I got nothing. That's it. Little um, fun fact at the end of the episode. Amen, brother. Yeah. Well, email email us your uh, fact checks if you got any. Cowspears podcast at gmail dot com. We got stickers coming and merch. Stickers and coming. You know, you know what it is. Keep up to date <laughs> on Instagram, Couch Beers Pod. Hell yeah, brothers. That's all we got. All right. Peace out. Later. Later.